again. So this is my last Halloween tutorial for this year and we're going to start this Pocahontas look off with our foundation and our concealer. Just regular application like we do all the time and then we're going to go in with our translucent powder and our powder puff and we are going to set all of that. And then we're going to go in with Painterly by MAC and we're going to put that all over our eyelid. And now for the eyeshadows, we're going to keep it warm, like warm red browns because that's what Pocahontas' makeup look really looks like is just a whole bunch of warm browns. And we're going to put that onto our eyelid and that is soft brown. And then we're going to go in with Saddle and start to pop that into our crease. Now you want to make sure you blend this out a lot. I mean a lot because you want it to look super natural and blended because it's the only crease color we're using. And then we're going to go in with this Inglot regular powder foundation and we're going to use that as our highlight because it's not too bright. And that's what we want to go for here is that natural look. So then we're going to take mystery and do our eyebrows and then we are going to start bronzing and contouring it. Now Pocahontas has a really defined face shape so we're going to try and mimic that with our bronzer or contour and we're going to do the hollow, hollows of our cheeks around our hairline and on our nose and just make sure all of that is blended in a lot. And then we're going to go in with a natural blush. This is Peaches by MAC and we're just going to pop that onto the apples of our cheeks and blend that in with the bronzer. Now onto the eyeliner. The Too Faced Waterproof Eyeliner Brown because I wanted to keep that natural feel and I didn't want to go as dark as black. So we're just going to heat that as a natural eyeliner and wing it out just a tiny bit to give us that Pocahontas winged eye shape. And then we're going to move on to our bottom and we are just going to line the bottom and kind of smoke it out. And also we're going to put it into the tear duct area so that it kind of looks a little bit pointed. And now on to the fun part. So we're going to draw our accessories on and making an aqua color, we're going to use blue, green, and white. But first we're going to outline everything that we're going to draw on. So the outlining the necklace in white so we can see where we're going to draw that necklace on. This is not hard, but it is kind of difficult to get both sides symmetrical. Um, this actually didn't take me that long to do, probably about 10 minutes at the most. Um, the most detailed part of this necklace was the shading, and I feel like I could have done a better job at that. Um, if you want to add some dark grays and blacks on the outside to kind of shade everything more, that would even look better. But I just went in and followed the picture that i seen and made the three um, divots or gems on all of the necklace, and then I went in and made the big gem in the middle. And I'm sorry I didn't film that one as much as I, I didn't know I was so far down but um and then I went in and did her tattoo type thing on her arm and this was actually really easy it didn't even take me five minutes try to go in and make them different shapes and sizes not really shapes but like lengths and diameters the thickness everything like that and then we're gonna do our lips so I went in with this NYX pencil in nude and just outlined my lips I kinda over outlined them because Pocahontas has some big lips and I do not and then I just went over it with blankety and that is it for the lips and also for the look I hope you guys love this and try it if you do you should tag me on Instagram please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my previous video it's a zombie look tutorial and have a wonderful safe Halloween guys bye <laughs>